Hey, what's up, Knicks fam? This is episode one of a new series I'm doing to go in depth into Randall's game to game performance. I figured having played 30 something games into the season, this is a good starting point. There should be no excuses that he's not in game shape or that there's no chemistry with his teammates. We talk about all the good and the ugly in his game. Then I'll give Randall a thumbs up or a thumbs down at the end. Let's get into it. The good. Randall was effective when he attacked early before they could send the double team, as you see here when they cleared out the whole right side of the floor. Although it would have been easier if he went to his right instead of driving into where the bodies were. Randall was active on the boards. He had 4 offensive rebounds this game. Here he gets blocked, recovers the loose ball, misses and tips in his own miss. Impressive effort. The ugly. Turnovers. Randall had 4 turnovers this game. This was a weird one. He could see Grimes cutting to the basket so I don't know why the pass was going out of bounds. This is a classic Randall turnover. Lack of awareness, too much dribbling and he loses the ball when the double came. Randall gets the ball stolen and what does he do first? Instead of getting back, he turns to complain to the ref. Not the first time we see this inexcusable behaviour. Another one similar to the Grimes pass. The ball was going out of bounds the moment it left his hands. No way Mitch is getting that ball. Lack of effort. This is the most concerning thing to me and a lot of fans. When his shot is not falling on offense, he often displays a lack of effort on defense. Here RJ's man blows by and Randall just stands there. Not even a contest. We are lucky he missed the bunny. Randall just stops playing and gives up the wide open 3. And look at him, dropping his head. Is he too tired? I don't know. No help rotation. He's just staring at Lehman going to the basket. He can't be expecting Kemba to get there. Again, he's just staring at Beasley shooting a wide open 3. He was guarding Beverly who got into a handoff. He needs to be closer but he's not even close to contesting. Now this is not a lack of effort per se, but bad communication. It seems like Randall sees what is happening but nope, they get an easy basket. What he should have done here is to get Grimes to get McDaniels on the wing while he takes Monroe who's bigger and cutting to the basket. So there we have it. My verdict for Randall in this game is a thumbs down. I thought he turned a corner after the Christmas game, but not really. What did you think about the video? Leave me a comment down below, let me know. Like, subscribe for future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Go Knicks!